I kill them all if I could. I ain't scared of none of So you know my ain't good. Throwing Ben Lottie here, my boy's not a just left ground zero on my way to Kush. I'm hustling. I'm out here. Now. I'm in the studio every day. I'm going to give you something. I'm not going to just have you sitting there waiting on me, not knowing what's going on. I'm going to give you music. Whatever's going on behind the scenes, you don't need to know about that. But here you right. go until then. Slow down. Too much people in my. Sometimes you want to scream to God, but he can't. Look, and even if he did, it's a pipe be his. The f you playing about? He ain't like you got cancer. Shout out to uh, T.I. He was uh, here yeah. last weekend. Yeah, and yeah, Tim. He was bigging. He was bigging you up, and he he stated that on fake ass motherfuckers. That's like one of his most honest records. But mine too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> I, I, I sat back and listened to that shit. Was like, oh man, you might have gave him too much. You know what I mean? <laughs> They thought it was bitches and bloods and phantoms and shit. <laughs> was, was was that record created like after he came out or that was? No, nah, actually, actually, I had that record, man, yeah. and um, I let a lot of people listen to it, and everybody was like, "Just put it out and see what happens." But you know, I, I I ain't one of those type of cats to really, you know, talk about what's going on with me. I just you know just grind through it, and um, you know, what I mean, it was just like you know, just let them see what you had in your head. You know what I mean? And you know, and I put it out, and and a lot of cats. That I saw afterwards, was like, damn, it's, it's just like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I want that, but you know, fame is a serious drug, man. Especially coming yeah. from where I came from, you know, being here now. You know what I mean? You kind of caught in the middle. You know, the streets, the music, and and, and you the spokesperson, and you right in the middle. It's almost like being Barack right now. You know what I mean? You still, you still support Obama? Because I know you had the president as black. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I definitely, I definitely support him. I felt like you know he did his thing. Um, it ain't a lot to do when you ain't got a lot of money to spread around. It's like, you know, going to the neighborhood. You can protect the neighborhood all day, but, you know, and, and they're going to love you for it. But then when you don't feed the neighborhood, they be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. The wolves, the wolves. <laughs> yeah, on, right? the wolves, man. They got the hyenas. You can't One thing that. he is doing is he's killing all the wolves overseas. Oh, yeah, now he's definitely on his gangster shit. Now you got to give him an A for that. Like, he, yeah, he's we not can't playing. talk bad about this guy. And, 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 really, and really and truly, I really like Gaddafi. I was like, damn, <laughs> he, when he got him. motivation. The whole album is dedicated to your honesty. Like, is 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 that the whole um, direction? I, I would say honesty and 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 having a classic record, meaning that um, you know, what I mean, like a lot of these records I wouldn't have done before, and you know, the trap, you know, the world is my trap now. So I just feel like I got to come in it that way. It's like different than talking to you know a neighborhood or a city. You know, I talked to my neighborhood in the beginning, then I talked to yeah. my city. Then, you know, I started talking to, you know, regions, and then next it was the world. And I just feel like, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm the people's champ. I'm their spokesperson, so I'm also a leader. You know what I mean? I got to lead them. I got to get them good music. You know what I mean? It ain't my thing to make the, you know, the, the, the club music you hear in the club all day is, is my thing to make those classics that you're going to live and, you know, die to, the chronics and the, and the uh, get rich or die tryings and the, you know, reasonable doubts. Oh, Jordy Red was not found guilty, man. It, yeah, he, he man. Got beats on the album? Uh, yeah, he got like two joints on there. Um, yeah, that was a crazy thing with Shorty, man. You know, Shorty was, you know, I don't want to say I felt responsible, but, yeah. you know, Shorty was always like my little brother. And he was the cat when, you know, I was running around and, and doing my thug thing that I used to take to the club and buy him and his homeboys bottles and, you know, and just show him, you know, just show him the ropes of the streets. And he was a producer. And I just think, you know, he kind of saw that. And, um, you know, he, he probably thought that was the way to be. You know, and, and surrounded himself with people that he shouldn't have. You know, you know, it just it just went all down here from there. Not you know, not to discredit anything from him. Yeah. But uh, when he was going through the ordeal, you know, I actually went in. You know, and and when I say my little brother, I'm such a real one. I don't mean it as in the sense of my little brother. I mean my little brother. Like he changed my life as well. Oh you know wow. What I mean? So um, you know, with the music we made, and um, when he was going through his thing, man, I actually, and a lot of people don't know, I kind of stepped back from my album and went and lived with him for maybe like four and a half months every day because, you know, that was serious. And he was my little brother. I mean, I went and moved in his in his room downstairs and went and bought a TV. And <laughs> <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, man, you know, played cards with him every day. You know, we just chopped it up because, you know, I was serious, man. He was, he, you know, his he life was. Facing murder yeah, charges. Yeah, you know, and, 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 he, and he was a kid. So he don't really know. And he didn't have anybody around him that knew you know, how that go, and I, I came from that. So I actually kind of backed out for a while and, and went and stayed with him for like four months every day. Went to court with him a few times, everything. But, you know, I'm glad he's straight now, though. I'm glad he's straight. Uh, yeah. he, got a second he got a second chance in life. You know, he got to make some good music, man, and just bounce back, you know. Was he incarcerated during that yeah, yeah. period? No, he was incarcerated, Um, 
maybe like six months of it that I can remember. Wow. And, and when he got home, you know, he, he kind of came home and it wasn't a lot of people around him that, you know, because Shorty's a wild dude when he want to be. Right. You know I mean? <laughs> <laughs> Clearly. But, um, but, um, you know, he, you know, he listens to me. You know what I mean? Right. And, 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 if, and if I ain't think anything else, I thought he needed me at that point. So, you know, it was well, about I'm him. I'm glad man. it worked out, though, man, because, you know, shit is crazy out yeah, there. Yeah, yeah, man, it's crazy, man. Did he get any joints on the record? Yeah, he got, like, two joints. Uh, yeah. Super Freak and um, uh, I think it's Win. Yeah. Who's on the album? Because that's why the uh, question for coming in, uh, man. man. You know, it, these, these ignorant fools out there need to know. Uh, everybody from Jill Scott to Fabulous, wow. Titicus, you know, uh, Neo, uh, Plies, um, Snoop Dogg, Devin the Dude. Wow. Jay Z, Andre 3000, um, Trick Daddy, um, Eminem. Did I say that? What? No, did I say that? No. I don't, I don't think I should. Should I say that, kid? Yeah, yeah, we got it. Okay. And I don't want you to think that I just got an album full of features. It's, yeah. Th these are collaborations. They're great records. They're like, they, we did them together. Is that why it took so long that you had to perfect it? Were um, you a perfectionist or? Yeah, yeah, I'm definitely a perfectionist. I think yeah. it took, I think it took a minute because, you know, I had, I had a lot of things going on. And my life, I had a couple of things changed at the label, but you know, I ain't the one to make excuses. The music was always there. I was always working on the music. I never let up a day. I never let up an hour, a minute. And you know, it was just all about time. And and this is the right time, and it's perfect timing. And I know, I know, you give a, a lot back to the people during the holidays, not yeah. giving them the album. I know you're gonna be giving away like gifts or turkeys. I know you're doing some kind of charity. Oh uh, man, you're doing. every year, man. You know, I, I gotta definitely do it for um, A Town. But I definitely travel around the world and do that, you know, do it too. So, you know, that's that's a big deal for me, man. You know, just going back to the, you know, just going back to the block or just going through the, you know, community and, and, and just, you know, seeing everybody because I've been on the road and making sure they got their Christmas gift. And all the little kids asked me for bikes last year. Now they want motorcycles and shit. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, yeah, hey, man, you know, what's that report card looking like? We'll see. <laughs> I heard uh, Irv Gotti was over there. He's really going to be president of Def Jam, or is he? I mean, you know, I'm, uh, he got my vote. You know, yeah, definitely. I heard he, he has full support of your new album. Yeah, man. You know, Irv, good dude, man. You know, he came through, kicked it. You know what I mean? Shouts out to Irv, Kevin Lyles. I just did a record for Jetty because it's crazy, though. Ooh, let me call him and try to get it, too. Yeah, I tried to get it. He won't give it to me. <laughs> I'm going to call him, you know, because I was him during, for Halloween. I was a Ninja Turtles. What the fuck? As far as, uh, you know, you and Rick Ross, what's the final conclusion of that? Because it's always, like, up in the air. I mean, I'm, I mean, you know, I'm TM 103. I don't think there's a conclusion to it because yeah. it was really never nothing to me in the beginning. You know, I don't need propaganda to sell my records. I never yeah. have always, you know, did my music. And, you know, when it's album time, people do crazy things, you know? Is it, He's not banned from ATL or anything like that, right? There's I mean, not band. that I know of. Oh, okay. <laughs> And as far as beef being squashed, or it hasn't even went that far, or is, or there ain't no beef. Period. I mean, I don't, I don't. I'm a real one, bro. I don't do beef. Yeah. If it's a problem, let's get to it. Let's get it done. Ain't nothing to talk about. <laughs> is there a favorite record on the album that you love? Like you think is like the the best situation? That, that's gonna I, be I like the OJ record a lot, a lot. You know what I mean? I like. Um, I definitely like the um, the the uh, Neo record because Warren G produced it. It's one wow. of my he's one of my favorite producers. The high learning with Snoop and Devin the Dude is crazy. Shout out yeah, to Lil C. Devin the Dude is one crazy, perverted motherfucker. I see, I don't know him like that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I know him I, like I that. I know he like to know? smoke like me. That's all I know. <laughs> yeah, the record I have with Jill Scott is, is, is crazy to me. Mm. You know what I mean? It's like one of those, you know, it's one of those first listens that, you know, you kind of get where I'm coming from mm. and, and you feel my struggle because, you know, a lot of people look at you and see you now in present time and don't understand, you know, what your past was like for real, for real. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So for, for me to be able to explain that with Jill Scott was crazy because at, wow. at least I know my mama and everybody like her going to listen to yeah, it. That's, <laughs> that's a classic chick right there. Yo. <laughs> yeah. If you know anything about snow, man, I cannot sit on my hands, man. <laughs> 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 I mean, you can tell me it's a million dollars over there. It's, it's, it's good. It's counted. It's straight. I'm like, let me just count it one more time. <laughs> like a lot of the mixtape music didn't fit while I was trying to go as far as the, the you know, the movie for the album. You know what I mean? That uh, Samuel Jackson narrated. It's crazy. Wow. But it's kind of, you know, my yeah, whole life yeah. story. And I just wanted to kind of make sure that How the are we going to be able sound, to see that? 
Um, it's on the deluxe edition, so if you got twenty two, <laughs> it's crazy, man. I sit back and watch this 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 movie, and I'm just like, wow, like you know, all these people are speaking on me, and you know, a lot of it's good stuff, you know, a little bad stuff in there, but you know, you never understand who you are until you let, sit back and listen to somebody else have a conversation about you. Wow. And just to have you know Samuel just talk about you know my you know my mom is me, some of my homeboys I know he he shouldn't know, right. <laughs> you know what I mean. It was just, it's, it's a beautiful thing, man. I That's ain't a crazy. movie star yet, but I, I feel I'm on my way. We interviewed him before. He's like the coolest. Oh, no, nah, man. The, Sam, you, you, the first thing Samuel said to me when he saw me, he was like, yo, Jeezy. He said, yo, I, I played I played the words off of Trapper Die. You got another one for me? <laughs> wow. I couldn't oh, believe wow. it. I was just like, what? He was Get like, yeah. Get the fuck out of here. He's very honest, man. He's yeah, like, yeah, yeah. He's going to tell you how he feel. He hit me from time to time now just to check in. Like, he a real dude, man. I get wow, that. man. Yeah, he's so fucking honest. He'll be like, yo, this movie I'm promoting is whack, but we could act like it's hot, all right? Who yeah. <laughs> we definitely see Jeezy in, like, future movies, like, coming of up? Of course, like, man. That's what I'm... You, you, don't, you don't see the transition, man. Yeah. That's what I'm... You know what I mean? We 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 going for it, man. I got I you know I, I feel like I got a lot to offer when it comes to that. I'm a pretty charismatic cat when I want to be, especially if the check is right. What's the what's the deal with your um your shirts that got bootlegs so hard? Are you gonna come out with your? Nah, I mean, cause you know right now you know I have really been on you know eighty seven thirty two you know okay. what I mean hard, and and it's crazy that you say that because it's like right now I have the number one urban clothing line in America. And, Hot. And you know I used to you know I used to hustle for clothes and Jordans and. Mm. And stuff like that. So for me to be able to have something, and I, when I'm showing up in my shows, I'm seeing all these cats in my clothes. I'm just like, man, you know, it's, this is this is real right here. You used to be like, you know, a little huskier, and now you're like, yeah, you're man. Like, you know, me and Sav got on that thing, man. Yeah. <laughs> we got right. We good money over here, B. But yeah, I this, just it's in all of Atlanta. Yeah, because I saw us Greg Street. Yeah. a couple weeks ago up here. Yeah. And nah. New man. But you know Get what it, you know what you know what it was, man? It's like, you know, I figured out you know, I'm getting this money, I wanna at least be around here to spend it and then <laughs> you know what I mean? be here for yeah, my you son. Want, but you um want those seizures, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. <laughs> Yo, what's wrong with you, dog? <laughs> it, it's crazy now. You go to Atlanta and go to the gym, man. It's like the club. The, the gym is the new club, by the way. For those those of y'all who don't know, yeah. they ain't in shape, get in shape, but the, but the gym <laughs> is the new club, man. Before Jeezy leaves out of there, um Jeezy's not leaving. He's here for the rest of the day. Trouble. I got, I got some stupid trouble out there. I was on London radio. You know, Tim Westwood, he was bigging you up Yeah. when I was up there. And then uh, I was just joking around. I was just like, you know, uh, uh, what's his name? Uh, Chris Brown knocked out Drake for, for Rihanna. And it was a joke. Now that shit's like all over the internet. And, it's all right. and I'm just joking. I'm like, are you serious? Like, it's amazing how anything could be big news. And I can imagine you go through this bullshit. This how I feel, man. You know, when, when you know where you think 100, I, yeah. I just I just keep it 100, man. You know, sometimes you got to let people figure it out themselves, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if they go for anything, they're just going to go for anything, bro. But I doubt, I don't think that happened. I would hope not. <laughs> nah, that's, nah, I was bored. We were joking. Me yeah. were laughing. And I, I said, but you know, you're a pretty down. famous dude. You know, you say well, some people believe you. Just for the record, for the record, it's not the first time that Hookit has said something stupid and, that gets taken out of context and, and gets I him can, in trouble. I can believe that. <laughs> <laughs>